Hello everyone, welcome to Ansible Learning Series for Network Engineers. In this video, we'll see how to create a job template in AWS for connecting to a Cisco device and how to pull a custom built execution environment which is having the required packages for running your playbook. So I'll be using this particular playbook which is having iOS facts and by default this won't be available in this execution environment AWX EE by default it will be using this particular environment so we will use a custom execution environment you can see the location of that in this particular environment I have installed PyATS PyLib SSH for Ansible then PyATS NTC templates and even I have installed git command support for this particular environment based on your requirement you can also create an execution environment later i'll create a video on how to create a custom execution environment and upload to clear.io clear.io is a public container registry owned by red hat there are multiple other container registries such as docker hub google container registry etc and these are going to be large files you can see the size of this because i have installed multiple packages inside this but this is 700 mb if you want to run this on premises there are registries such as private automation hub or gitlab containers are available by default this will be doing the security scan you can see the security scan details here one of the package which i have installed git python is having some vulnerability you can see all these details here i have created this for my testing i would recommend you to create your own execution environment for awx and this particular awx i demonstrated earlier i have installed it using minikube i'll add that video also in the description and notification and this is my minikube ip and in kubectl get services command you can see the port number which i have exposed for awx web services and it is 32163 you see this awx it is running in 32163 and it is in same machine and by default we'll be getting these two execution environments and if you go to the projects there is a demo project and if you click on that you can see the github link of that i'll copy that and paste it here and we can verify the revision number here if you check it in AWX, it will be same 347e4 and you can see the description number here as well same like that we can get even the execution environment link so by default this will be using awx ee default we'll copy this link and this will have only the default packages first we will try using this for connecting to cisco device you can see the size of this 346 MB and if you see here we already have a default inventory default project then some demo credentials and default template and if you see this particular default template this will be using the demo project and from there it is going to run this particular playbook hello world and this is just going to print a hello world message we can run this and verify that so let us launch this particular default template so this is able to get the playbook from this github repository and 
print the output and by default is going to use the default execution environment so we can see the details here so let us start adding a cisco device so first we need to create an inventory so i'll click on add here add inventory i will call this cisco demo inventory then here we will add even the variables once we set this in the inventory level this will get applied to all the devices which are getting assigned to this particular inventory so i'll save this you can see here i have commented this cli as such type i will so why i have added this because the device which i am using is older version by default the ansible pylib ssh doesn't support older algorithms so we need to force the playbook to use this particular library paramico for now we will comment this and keep i'll save this here i'll create a group called routers and in host i will add a new host we'll call this r1 and for r1 we need to give ansible host and ip is 192.168.0.61 and the reason why i have given the group name as router is because in the playbook is the old playbook is i have written this one year back i'm not using even the fqcn this is using cisco ios module we will just try to run this this is just for demonstration purpose and this particular playbook is publicly available so we don't need any credential for accessing this playbook that is why i'm using this file so we will create a project and clone this particular repository now we have inventory ready with a device r1 and group called routers now we will create the credentials so demo credentials i'll select credential type as machine the router username is admin and password also is admin we can verify it here we are not using any ssh and we are not using any enable mode we are using that we can set that also so i'll save the credentials now we need to create the project i'll create this core demo project and we can use the default execution environment here i'll select the source control as git and url i'll go to this repository copy this and paste it here each time when i launch a template this will try to update the revision of this so that if i do any updates in the playbook it will automatically pull that i'll click on save and it is trying to sync the project we'll wait for this to complete so you can see here it is successful and here we'll be able to see the revision number revision number is 80e31 and we can verify it here this thing now we have inventory credentials and project now we'll create a template
Cisco demo template and job type is going to be run. Inventory is going to be Cisco demo inventory. Project is going to be for demo project, which is this particular repository. Execution environment, we won't select anything by default, it will pick default EE. And you can see here, this is pulling all the playbooks from this repository without any credentials. And we'll keep the verbosity zero for now. I'll save this and we'll try to launch it. So here we are getting an error saying that couldn't resolve the module iOS facts because the default AWS EE doesn't have Cisco iOS module installed. So what we can do, we will try to use this particular execution environment. Here I already have installed it. And just copy the URL. Click on execution environment. I'll add it. I will name it Network Automation EE. I'll give the k.io link and you can leave it as default. If you give always pull container, it will always try to pull the container from k.io. Or you can give even the only pull the image if not present before running. You can just leave it as default. I'll save it. Now I need to update the template. I'll go to template, edit, and in the execution environment, I'll select network automation EE. We'll save it and launch it again. Now this is trying to pull this particular execution environment to AWX. The first run it might take some time because it has to download all these 700 MB file. And you can see the error message here. It says no match for key exchange algorithms. That means this is using latest algorithm and device doesn't support that. You can see the algorithm list here. You might get this error for older devices, but newer devices will have latest algorithms. There are multiple workarounds for this. Either you can pass the supported algorithms as a variable, or you can force this to use Paramico. What we'll do, we'll force this to use Paramico. We'll go to inventory. I'll uncomment this. And before uncommenting this, we will go to template, edit, and we'll increase the verbosity and see the connection details. I'll give four. Launch again. Now we are getting more messages. And you can see here SSH type is lib SSH. This is using Ansible PyLib SSH for connection because I have already installed that in this particular execution environment. Now we will change this to Paramico. Go to inventory, edit, and uncomment this.
now i'll go and launch this template again you can see here task is failed we'll see the reason for failure it says no authentication method available i'll go to template and here i haven't given the credentials i'll give cisco demo credential save it and we'll try to launch this again and this playbook is a very basic playbook which i have written one year back so this is just trying to get the facts and hardware subsets and interface subset so now this is able to get all the details we can verify the output here so this is a basic demonstration of how to create inventory credentials project and then template how to use a custom execution environment later we'll see how to create an environment using podman and upload to where.io i hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to create a job template in aws for connecting to code device and use a custom built execution environment thanks for watching see you in the next video